Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It feels like we are truly in the end game of FC24, especially with the cards that were dropped yesterday, the brand new team of the tournament items. We have a 99 rated Messi, multiple 98 rated players, and stats that just feel like they've hit their peak in terms of literally how high they can go. So I want to talk about that today and also talk about why maybe you shouldn't play weekend league this weekend yeah we're going to discuss that here for just this weekend there's a little bit of a situation especially if you're on a time crunch i want to talk about that and look at everything that happened yesterday if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new we're finally back i've been traveling all day but i'm here because i want to look at this new promo content i opened a couple player picks that is all that i have done besides look through the players and i'm excited to get back into things lads now let's do just that by actually starting to talk about the store it's a small thing but it's a nice thing and i can't even go to the store because i've got unassigned from opening a couple player picks and stuff uh and then some extra cards there but ea gave everybody a 100k pack untradeable yesterday that's nice like we love the free packs given out on promo fridays i just want to mention that because that is something that i think has happened a lot more often in the second half latter parts of the year but we always love that we always love the chance right it gives everybody an opportunity even if it's not that great of a pack that's just gold rares that you probably could put into an 83 plus team of the week or maybe just 82 player picks to get yourself some more picks and packs opened up now let's go to evos and start going over the content because this evo right here was a pretty crazy one guys actually there's a player in my club that i don't think very many people or any people have this is a partially evoed clint dempsey that i completely forgot about and i never used this card because it was so bad with just the two playstyle pluses but in this evo he looks disgusting he is 100 who i am doing in the new evo that we got yesterday and i know a lot of you guys are like nate no 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 there's one other player that you need to be doing and it's neymar but that's not for me evos at this stage of the year are meant to be fun and if it's actually going to be a card that i will try out and use at least for me it's going to be a usa squad even though we just fired our manager did terrible on copa america i haven't used that squad a lot and i want to use some more of those players so that's kind of like my fun project right now with evos but this is fun for a lot of people because neymar has got this evo right here you have to get his gold card which is now extinct that's how you know it's a very very hyped evo right but you can get this neymar and give a 99 dribbling boost to him with 90 plus stats, you know, 91 pace, 90 shooting, 90 passing. Physical is bad, but you get power shot press proven, which is OP in the attack. And of course, your five star, five star, it's Neymar. He's just different in game. What a card. The only thing I have to say about this is I feel like EA saved a Neymar Evo way too long into the year. Like it's the middle of July now. This is the first Evo, I believe. Yeah, first Evo that Neymar has fit into his gold item. So that's kind of mad. I think that happened probably a little bit too late. But if you want to get yourself a Neymar, if you have one in the club, or if you're going to try to pack him through like 82 plus player picks, he does look pretty cracked in this Evo just because whenever you boost a card like Neymar, he's going to be good. Now there's some other good options inside of this evolution as well. I'm sure you guys have got some great choices. That Claudia Pena looks great. This James Madison for me looks solid, but I've already got the one that came out during the Festival of Football Academy, so I'm happy with that. Dempsey is going to be the guy that goes in this Evo for me. I'm just going to do it right now. I'm going to commit to doing Clint Dempsey in this Evo because that card looks insane after evolving him up. So that's what I'm going to do there. That was a good content piece yesterday in my humble opinion, and it's free. So really, what's the games? Play three, play five, and play four. It's a pretty big boost, right? Plus fives and sixes and sevens to the overall stats, plus two playstyle pluses. I like it. I have no complaints. That is a good Evo from yesterday's content. Now let's go look at objectives really quick because this is where it gets a bit interesting. First of all, we had yesterday the Cuti Romero team of the tournament card. And I know when you look at this stats, you're like, oh, 88 pace. Everything right now needs to be 90 plus pace, especially for center backs. But he's got anticipate plus aerial plus block plus and energizer energizer is a little bit interesting he's got 86 stamina which is i think fine for a center back but he does like to get forward he's medium high work rated on the game he could be high high in, work, in real life in my opinion but he's really good like i used thunderstruck romero for a while earlier on this year and he was a very good card this one has 99 reactions and composure he's got really great physical defending stats of course and he is mostly lengthy so that'll help for sure with his um you know sprinting speed i know his sprint speed is a little bit low a shadow 
or maybe a anchor if you're gonna do this um, objective would really really help the card out and there's also some xp inside of there as well now the other objective that i want to talk about here is this festival of football cup which evidently on the companion app this musiala and the danny olmo and these other cards that you get like the kyle walker they don't show as the uh, loan cards they're available until august 1st which is nice that they're available for so long timed loans i guess these are these are not going away at the same date as the other kind of uh, global loans are but anyways i digress um i think on the companion app it shows that these are not loans but they definitely are guys look at these packs inside of this cup right of course you have musiala loan at the end but you get a pack as well you get an 87 times four you play six, you're getting Danny Olmo, and you're getting an 85 times two. These are some really, really good packs. 84 5, 84 5, 83 times five. When you win 12 games, 87 3, 87 double. You're getting so many walkouts, so many higher rated, and especially with the cards that are in packs right now, at least a chance at packing some of the best cards. I think that getting this done this week in the six days that it's out, even though it's not going to take that long, right? It's probably going to take you half the time of weekend league you might get a couple golden goals or maybe even yourself you quit out of a couple of games just because you see you're down one or two nil early and you're like you know what this guy's better than me i'm gonna give him the win and i'm out but i think this cup is like more worth it to do than weekend league with the packs that you get especially with the fact that weekend league is still having ultimate champs picks inside of it i do believe it's still ultimate champs picks so that is why in the intro of the video i mentioned why it's probably not worth it to play weekend league if you're on a time crunch and if you're like an eight i don't have the time to play rivals this week to play champs and to play a cup and whatever else other you know games that you need to get done maybe a couple of other friendly ones as well like it, it just seems to me this week that rivals with the promo specific rewards that came out uh, that we saw the updates from right of course if you're in rivals let's go weekly reward upgrade you have the 94 plus pick if you're in rank one and then of course if you are in rank one, you get the other picks as well. Hold on. Preview rewards, reward upgrade, option two. You still get a lot of gold players that you can turn into player picks with the prime gold, the jumbo rare gold, but you do get some higher rated guarantee packs too. Then 87 double and the 85 times four, you get twice chances at those if you take the untradeable awards and then you get the 94 times three which could include the team and tournament cards that are literally in packs right now. So that is why I would play division rivals and the cup over foot champs because in foot champs unless this is incorrect but i'm pretty sure it's correct because this is currently what's going on you still have ultimate tots cards in rewards now i think that's going to change pretty soon um and if it is an easy thing for you to go get you know 11 wins and champs and not think about it or even nine wins and champs and you have the time for it then i would say go for it but what i'm saying is i think personally i'm gonna run out of time to do all three of those gameplay modes this week champ champs friendlies for the cup and rivals i'm gonna say champs is the least worth it to do at the moment because of the rivals packs and rewards they guaranteed and the player picks and then of course all the packs that you get for not that crazy long of a grind for the friendly that's kind of my hot take that i tweeted out last night and i wanted to double down on it today on the video because i wanted to mention that uh also i will say this i think some people are feeling scared like they have to play weekend league or else they're going to miss out on the xp guys i don't think that there's a world in which ea messes up xp two seasons in a row because think about it they kind of messed it up this last season a lot of people were not able to get to the end of pushkas yes even though it was very good that is very abnormal like we usually have bonus xp multiple different times and just the regular amount of xp dropped is plenty enough even if you're playing this game semi-casually you're logging on to the game a couple times a week. You're not doing everything in your power to get the season done. Even those sorts of players were used to getting the season done or almost done. And there just was not enough XP dropped last season. I think that was genuinely a mistake. I don't think it's going to happen again. So I wouldn't say you have to stress out and try to get all the XP that you can, especially here at the beginning, because I think there will be plenty of it this time around. And we'll all be able to get that 99 rated Erling Holland. Now let's talk about SBCs because... There was a lot of freaking SPCs yesterday, but there's only one that matters the most. And it's this card right here. It is Vitinha, right? He, of course, he had the PSG team of the season card as well. And now we have a team of the tournament version for him. Of course, Portugal, but also with the PSG links because that's how the cards work. Power shot, intercept, long ball, and first touch. And his Tots card, I've heard is so crazy good this one's five star five star high high work rate center mid and cam and the price on this player 
is only 500,000 coins, especially with a lot of us getting these insane packs from the rewards, from the cup, even from foot champs if you're playing that too. I think this is a really worth it to craft SBC. You look at the thumbs up to thumbs down, a thousand up votes to 105 down votes. And on the SBC itself, he's got 389 to 100. It's 527,000 coins, which for five squads, that seems very, very craftable. Sure, they're pretty higher rated squads, like 90, 91. You have 89 in there too, and 88, 288 exactly. But I think this is craftable with the higher rated, the 87 threes, the 87 twos that you're getting from either the rivals rewards this week, maybe from champs if you're getting some lucky pack pulls there and your higher rated guarantee packs, or if you're just grinding through player picks, I think this is the SBC player that you're working towards and you're crafting to right now. So it's always better when a promo Friday starts off with a bang in SBC, and this is a bang in SBC 100%. So shout out to EA. That was a good piece of content right there. And Vatina is a great player, I think, to kind of promote uh, because of his performances at the Euros as well for Portugal. Now, we did have showdown SBCs yesterday as well for both of the final games coming up here this weekend. We had Trippier versus Ios Perez and Carboni versus Asprilla. Guys, I love the idea of the showdowns. I do like it. I really do. But I think some of the player selection here, and I know I'm, I'm thinking about these cards, and I'm like, man, none of these guys have had specials. So many of the other players from England, from Spain, from Argentina, from Colombia have gotten the special cards. So, like, who else are they going to pick right now? I totally understand that. I get that. But I just think still there are some better players they could have chosen, or maybe if they wanted to go, like, who uses Kieran Trippier that often in FC24 that you're going to think to want to do this SBC? Well, okay, instead of long ball pass plus, let's give him anticipate plus or intercept plus on this card and make him like, oh shoot, this Trippier card could actually be insane either in a midfield role in game when you move him there, or maybe still as a left back or a center back if you want to move him there as well. A little bit short for that, but maybe a good defensive right back. He still has whipped pass and long ball and dead ball, but he's missing a few of those defensive play styles. I I don't know this SBC to me doesn't really hit that different neither does the IOS Perez I think I'm going to pass on either of them but again I like the fact that they're both cheap they're both one squad all the showdowns that were dropped yesterday were literally only one squad they're either 40,000 coins or 68,000 coins according to footbin here so I think if you want some skin in the game they're fun SBCs to do Trippier could go to a 96 if football comes home IOS Perez could also go to a 96 if Spain win and you know technical incisive and finesse on one card with his build and a plus two potential on the line if they win that could be a really really nuts card so either do one or do both to stay ahead of the game for the upgrades that will be coming out later on this weekend but at least they're cheap right i think we can all agree they're cheap and that is great one thing i forgot to look at with vitinha's card is yeah, he's a midfielder, right? A lot of people are probably selling midfielders to go and afford this SBC or because they're just replacing what they had with a new card. Take a look at Mateus. Mateus yesterday was 880,000 coins. He even hit a peak of like 930k at one point. And after the content drop happened, and in my opinion, after that Vitinha came out, that was the real catalyst. He went from 930k down to 700 and 40,000 coins. That was so low, so low for this Mateus card. A lot of midfielders are just dropping in price, especially the middle to top tier ones, I think are getting replaced by a guy like this Vitinha. People are going to be crafting his SBC and doing it a lot because it does have so much hype. The links that he has are very good and people know that this Tots is good. So not a good day to be a center mid on the FC24 market, that is for sure, because a lot of those have dropped. Now, I want to talk about these cards for a little bit. I think we covered all the SBCs, right? We did have the 80 plus times three and the team of tournament daily upgrade, but those, you know, eh, neither here nor there. I haven't done basically any of those two SBCs that dropped like every single Friday in a long time. I haven't done them very much, and I don't think that's going to change. Now, one thing I do want to mention again with these cards is they are not live, and it's a little difficult to try to wrap our heads around because every single UEFA Euro or Copa America card design so far has been a live and upgrading card in some way, shape, or form, but these are not. Make sure you remember that. Tell your friends that if they get confused. These are not live cards. These, the Path to Glories, of course, are. Same thing with the Make Your Marks, but the new ones that have just coming out, all of these cards are, of course, not live. They are one-time static upgrades for 
quote-unquote, I guess, EA thinks was the team of the tournament. Now, let's take a look at these cards a little bit and look at some of the insane players and the insane, insane stats in here that make this feel kind of like the end game, but also a couple of issues. And actually, you know what? Let's start with the negative. Though pack weight for these cards does seem... What's the best way to describe it? Oh yeah, mid. I would say mid again is the way to describe it. Yeah, sure, you can pack yourself some decent cards if you keep ripping, you could get lucky. Yesterday I opened like 15-ish player picks and I packed um, two of the literally worst players. I don't even remember who they were. Oh, they were both Copa America cards. I packed um, um, the Canadian goalkeeper Krapel, Krapel, and then I also packed, who was it? The center back, I think. Uh, Munoz, yeah, I packed him. I think it was Munoz. It was either Crempo and Munoz or Martinez. It was Martinez and Crempo. So those are who I was packing. The fodder weights high. Um, and of course, the weight on the middle of the top tier, guys. Messi, so expensive. Vinny, so expensive. Martinez is even expensive as well. Same thing with the Euros cards. The prices for these are up, up, up. I think it's because they are rare. And I would imagine that they are going to come down. But just don't forget, these cards are not live. Especially when you start to think about, oh, upgrades. How's this player? What's going to happen on Sunday with the, uh, the Euro final? How is that going to upgrade these cards that just came out? Team and tournaments. Well, no upgrades for then or for them so honestly though when you look at this team you look at these players the car the the team of cards is really good like this ericsson this one makes me so happy ea gave him five star five star he's seventy thousand coins he's probably going to be like 30 to 40k he's going to be that cheap but he's got great play style pluses he's got the passion for me i love it i absolutely love that that's a such a usable card you could even look at it and say oh nate 89 pace though that's again behind the curve in my opinion five star five star with the 98 passing he is going to be usable in this state of the game and that's why i said kind of in the beginning that this feels like the end game of this game so much because it just feels like at this time especially after the cards that we have just gotten it's going to be really difficult to try to top the stats for some of these cards. Sure, you know, you could have, oh, 95 pace center back with 97 offending and like 99 physical. You could have that, right? That is still possible. There is a little bit of movement up on the power curve still left, but it just feels like these cards are continually insane, 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 insane. And uh, they can't really go that much further. And at some point, I think also it has to be said, once we get into the end game time of the year, it is one of the most fun times because it's so easy to get a crazy, crazy team. There's nostalgia from cards re-released back in packs during footies, maybe a footies vote. Still a lot more that we hope to see with that. But when you get into the end game, it's less about who you're playing with. As long as you're using a player that is like somewhat meta in the current state of stats and playstyle plus is now to incorporate that into this year's game you're good you're kind of good once you get close because even like tots cards like i've got a tots and bape griezmann was in my team for ages until i just took him out for pushkas and then i've got this vvd tots card tots cards are still very very usable i'm finding myself now at a point where i've got so many cards because it's the summertime because of the euros content copa america's content that i'm like what in the world do i do with my team who do i use and what do I choose to like keep on my reserves? Because at this state, there's so many cards that keep getting released and they're all so crazy that it really just kind of puts us in this cycle where, okay, the power curve's not actually going up that much unless we somehow get a fifth play style plus, which seems very, very likely. The power curve isn't going up as much because it's like basically already hit the max. And these cards start to feel very similar in game, except for the ones that have their own specific animations and stuff like that, just because everything is so fast in this game at the moment with how high rated and cracked all of the cards are. So that's kind of my opinion on why it just feels like the end game. Like I said in yesterday's video, I, I'm a little surprised with the 99 Messi. I thought they were going to do 98, but this will be the Messi that we get at some point as probably an SBC or somehow will be able to complete this card or to get this card, in my opinion, because they love to do that at the end of the year. And the fact that they made him 99 means they're probably going to give Ronaldo a 99 at some point as well. Maybe during footies, who knows? Now, when I take a look at this team, there's a couple things I do want to point out. I love the lower to middle tier because even some of those cards, um, like the like the Martinez, like the Munoz, he has 53,000 coins, 94 pace as a center back who can, well, play right back main position, but can also play center back. You know, Caicedo is in here, Davidson Sanchez is in here. I think that player selection here is 
absolutely phenomenal. But there is one card that really kind of makes me upset when I look at it. It sticks out from the rest. It's Conte. He is two star, three star when everybody else is at least like four, four, or maybe one other center back is three, four. I don't understand what happened to Conte's card. The stat upgrade, you know what? I haven't even double checked this. The stat upgrade plus, yeah, we love it. Look at that, plus six pace. That's a huge boost. Incredibly huge boost to Conte's card, plus seven physical as well, plus three defending, um, and a whole bunch of shooting boost even. A little irrelevant for a CDM, but I. I don't understand why all the other cards look so good. And a lot of them are either four five or more of them now are five, five. And he's still over here at two star, three star. And then the other thing I have to ask is why are some of these players getting in and Mbappe getting in? Sure. He did have a couple of contributions, but did he do well enough to really get into this promo and be a part of the team of the tournament that EA would say, these are some of the best players, if not the best players that competed during the competitions. Or do you just feel like this is for to try to sell packs? There's always that aspect to it, right? That we have to kind of take into consideration because it is a business for EA. And at the end of the day, they are going for and they are succeeding in making a lot of money. So it's got to somehow funnel its way into the pack sort of thing a little bit with uh, the hype around those for EA to continue making the money. But like, why did some of these players get into this promo team like the Mbappe, right? Of course, Gakpo, of course, Jude, uh, Musiala, Fabian Ruiz, De Bruyne, Kimmich, very deserved. Conte, very, very, very deserved cards. For those that watch the Euros, even bits and pieces of it, you saw a lot of these guys shine for sure in their countries on, with their countries on the pitch. I just feel like um, some of these are just thrown in here like the Mbappe, uh, the KDB, maybe a little bit. The Messi, he was always going to get one. Lautaro, sure. Rafinha was one that I literally said in yesterday's video. I was like, nah, he's not getting one, right? Because he already has a season pass card. Well, that didn't happen. So anyways, um, I wish we had some more criteria sometimes on how EA pick and choose cards, especially when it's performance-based because it's how they performed, but it's not like a live card upgrading based on how they performed. It's just, hey, they played pretty good. So here is a card to represent how good they played during the tournament, but uh, these cards are really good. Like I love the cheapness of some of the meta cards. Like this Munoz, a 94 pace center back who's got aerial plus and whipped pass plus. You could play him at right back as well. But like the fact that that card looks as cracked as it is, um, is mad. And also he's 53,000 coins. So I love most of the team. I think of those cheaper budget cards will continue to drop. I think the higher budget cards will continue to drop as well. You guys don't even need me to say that. That's the normal Saturday fluctuation. That is how the prices like always move. It will drop during the day because as we get into 6 p.m. content, there will probably be more store packs today, more coins that people will be spending on those. They're untradeable, of course. A lot of those are untradeable, but that takes coins off the market and it makes prices drop. Now, we yapped enough about Team of Tournament. Guys, I'll be honest. I'll rate this promo decently high. It's going to depend on the pack weight and if I get lucky enough to pack one of those nice cards, like a KDB um, Musiala, Gakpo, Mbappe, Bellingham, like one of those messy, of course. If you hit one of those, then I think you're going to be pretty happy. I think a lot of people are going to say, oh, this promo is kind of mid and just be ready for footies. And I totally understand that as well. But like, I'm not going to keep saving packs when there's a 98 Mbappe, uh, 98 KDB and Musiala in packs and a 99 Messi. There's no shot that I'm saving packs. I am ripping for team in the tournament just to see what I can get and to maybe, fingers crossed, get something good during the week this week. Now, speaking about these players, let's talk about how we actually might be able to pack them as soon as today. And that could be through some of the SBC packs. The 86 double is going away. Thank goodness. Get this thing out of the game. I don't ever want to see it come back, really, if I'm being honest. It can go away and be gone for good. Now, what's going to replace that? Fingers crossed the 84 times 10 regular. I know we had the 84 times 10 best of nations upgrade. That might even come out again today. I think that was in the pack code once more um, with the 80 times three that got updated, I think, from the last time it was posted. I'm not entirely sure. I think we could get two 84 times 10s today, unless EA does not want to overlap those. Maybe it's an 85-5 best of nation and they update the code and then an 84 times 10 regular. It could be an 85-5 regular. We're going to have upgrade packs today. We're going to have at least one, probably two chances with two different upgrade packs 
to get those cards that are in the current team of tournament promo. So you do love to see that for sure. Get your lower tier fodder ready. Get a team of the week ready if you have some in the club. Maybe a team of the season if you have to. That'll be pretty easy to get done. Um, and it'll be a three times a day type of type of vibe. We love that. So get your uh, low tier fodder through 82 plus picks as well with exchanges in the grind. There's so much fodder there. Now, always on Saturdays, we look for player SBCs and we started off with a bang, right? Of course, we started off with the big SBC yesterday of Vitinha. Who's going to replace this and even come in second place to this guy? Because whatever SBC they dropped today is probably not going to be as good and as hype as this SBC was. I'm looking through the whole leaked list of players, and I don't think I've missed any that were not expected to be in and maybe coming as an SBC. There hasn't been like specific SBC leaks for this promo. There have not been a whole lot of leaks for this promo regardless. So another potential market moving aspect there. And then the last thing I got to talk about is because this is going around Twitter like crazy. Today is Lamina Yamal's 17th birthday, which means he qualifies to be inside of Ultimate Team. Now, how long will it take EA to A, add him and B, how long do you think it is until he gets a promo card? Guys, it would be so crazy if they literally just loaded up the game today and dropped Lamina Yamal in this game. But the likelihood of that happening is like slim to none it literally would be zero in my opinion there would have had to been a lot of thinking ahead of time before that to try to implement a brand new card and you probably have to download at least a squad update maybe even a title update so i know a lot of people are hoping for yamal today that, that is definitely not confirmed right now uh, it is not guaranteed but we will keep a lookout because whenever he gets a special card it is going to go crazy that card is going to have so much hype there's gonna be so many people around it wanting to buy it. it's going to be crazy expensive if especially it's not supplied with the issues to the price range that we have had this year those kind of just keep coming at least how many extinct players do we have at the moment just mbappe is it just mbappe i haven't looked at all the minimum prices so i don't know if some of these guys are close to min gay pretty close Jaka is at minimum price. All right, so you do have some minimum price issues already with a few of these cards. Not very many, but just a few. Uh, probably that probably that Jaka would be the biggest one. Labatka, no, he's not that close either. Kukurella, 160 to 45, no. So the, none of those are super close, but definitely some of them are, and there are some issues around there. Um, so just be very, very careful with that is what I would say too. But as always, we don't mess with the price ranges too much. We keep it careful there. And trading wise, like I'm staying away from stuff, man. I'm staying away from buying literally anything unless you're going to do a quick flip trade. Like you saw with the Mateus graph that I pulled up, he was down to 740,000 coins. Lothar Mateus, great to the game. Look at him now. He's back up to 800K. You could have made, could have made some nice quick flips there with a lot of these cards that were panic sold because yesterday, a lot of graphs looked like this peaks before content and then shoof, after content just dropping down in value as people are running to go and get the new stuff. So I'm super interested to see what we get today upgrade pack wise, spice it up EA, spice it up with a good player SBC as well, and give us hopefully some good opportunities to be grinding this game this weekend, some good pack luck and an opportunity at some promo cards. I'll, as always, if you guys get something, drop it down in the comments or tweet it to me. But your boy is going to get some sleep because I've been up for like 18 hours straight and i need some sleep man but i appreciate you guys tuning into the videos i'm excited to be back we will be back very soon with the streams the videos are going to keep going and this team of tournament promo looks like it's going to bring at least a little bit of the juice solid 7 slash 8 out of 10 day yesterday let's kick it up ea 9 out of 10 content today maybe 10 out of 10 on sunday and we could be cooking with team of tournament but i'll see you guys in the videos then after the content drops today on saturday we'll look at it late night early tomorrow morning on sunday and i will see you guys there it's been native accountant catch you the next one guys peace out